what percentage of who you are is, when you're offline is similar to the Cole Hastings, if you had to put a number on it? Similar to YouTube Cole Hastings. YouTube Cole uh, Hastings. <laughs> number. I haven't thought about that. I would say the, the thing is it's so hard to even ask yourself to answer the question, who am I, right? Because I'm a different person sitting here right now. I'm a different person with the weed kids. I'm a different person with the, the more Kai Sigma. with Kai Sigma. You know, it's like, I don't know. YouTube, so maybe YouTube Cole Hastings is just another part of me that's fully, fully authentically me. Mm -hmm. But I say in most situations, I'm kind of like the, I don't really talk much in real life. And maybe people who have seen my videos would be surprised at that, that I'm like introverted. I like being alone. I don't, I don't talk that much in real life. I'm not, I'm not the most sociable guy and I have to be that on YouTube. You know, I want my videos to be engaging and me to have high energy, a lot of charisma. Like the way I'm talking on YouTube is much more, Oh, hello, I'm Cole Hastings, and I'm trying to do this with my voice so I sound better. So I would say the number that keeps popping in my head since you've asked that question is like 80%, probably. Yeah. It's so fascinating to see this experiment unfold in front of our eyes. In the past, it would have been very rare for us to have so much of who we are on the internet on a different place yeah and then for that to not be a hundred percent us it's like now it's even weirder because it's not acting and it's not reality and it's somewhere in the middle of it acting is. and reality it is it is exactly and so i don't know man it's it's an interesting thing to think about because if you think about the mirror being an invention it's I don't know how long the mirror has been around, but that changed society in a pivotal way because now for the first time people could look at e themselves and be like, Oh no, I should look like this. I want to look like that. Mm. And now YouTube is a video version of the mirror. And so I think social media in general, yes, it just algorithms are a mirror. Yes. And they're not perfectly accurate. Mm -hmm. Like you're not, it's, it's, yeah, it's only a part of you kind of, yeah. Yeah. And everyone is looking at that mirror slightly differently. Right. And now you're, if you're not comfortable with yourself, you're thinking about how other people are thinking about you. And you're like, how are they perceiving me? In the, and this is why- That'll drive you crazy. And th this will drive you crazy. And it, that's why I speak so much about meditation. And I definitely would not be able to put myself out on the internet if I had not sat with myself and been comfortable with what I saw. Mm -hmm. And so how do you think about living in this incredible experiment that we've entered ourselves into i think you brought up a really good point about driving yourself crazy about how other people are perceiving you mm. because i had to come to terms with and it took a really long time that no matter what you say no matter what your intention is with a piece of content someone's a different person each different person is going to perceive that content differently they're going to take something different out of it no matter what what your intention is with it. So a lot of my videos, the intention is like positive, like this is what I want you to get out of it. And then I'll see a comment that's like, it's so stupid how you thought that blah, blah, blah. It's like, I didn't think that. What do you, what do you mean? Like, that's not what I was saying. So yeah, that's, I think that's, that's been prevalent in, I don't know, since people have written books, maybe, but probably not to the extent we've we're now seeing it 